everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to look into Aries monthly guidance message for September. In this message, we're first going to tap into the energies here with the wisdom of the Oracle deck, get an overview of the energy we're looking into for you for this month. And then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the message here, Aries with a traditional deck. And in this portion of the message, we're going to look into the energy surrounding you this month, the energy in love, energy in money. We'll look into what's challenging you where you need to focus your intentions and we will pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward i will clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end if that's something you guys are interested in you're more than welcome in joining us so aries we have milk and honey let's pull one more card for you guys for September, please and thank you, Spirit. Most important message here for Aries. What does Aries need to see here for the month of September? I feel here, Aries, that you're headed in a positive direction. Milk and honey is like paradise, symbolic of paradise. The land of milk and honey. Yin. This is feminine energy. I feel here, Aries, that something is going to be coming back around. I feel here there's going to be an opportunity for you to get closure on a situation of conflict between you and another person. For some of you, this may be a romantic partnership I feel here more of an energy of like friend or family type of a vibe. So let's dive a little bit deeper here, Aries, into the message. See what we can see. Let's see what comes out here for you guys for the month of September. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits, extended versions, how to get entered into the drawing, for free personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And Aries, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Closure, closure, Aries. I feel like there is going to be somebody that's going to be coming around, back around, that's going to give you an opportunity to close out to, I feel like they're going to apologize. Something's going to come forward where it's going to help you to kind of close out that chapter, okay? Energy surrounding you this month for the month of September, Page of Wands clarify all of this energy here in a minute aries energy in love is the seven of pentacles energy in money wheel of fortune just an fyi wheel of fortune in area of money this is going to be a lucky month for you guys month of september don't be afraid to try your hand Challenging you this month is the eight knight of pentacles. It's working in your favor where your focus needs to be is the four of wands. What I feel here, Aries, the energy surrounding you is an energy of caution. And I do feel like this has to do with somebody coming around, somebody coming back around to clear the confusion, to clear the air. I do feel like there is going to be closure. It's going to be closure that's going to be had on a situation. I do feel this is definitely something that you've anticipated for a long time. 
I do feel like this is a long-term friend, family member type of a connection here. So we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment. I feel here that this person that's coming back in is past. And the reason why I say the past coming back, guys, we have unfinished symphony on the bottom of the Oracle deck. Okay. So because of that, I feel like there's a person that's going to be coming back around. And I feel like this person is going to have some sort of apology for you. It's almost as if they're maybe trying to make amends. Okay, let's clarify this page of wands energy for Aries. Feeling a little off balance, feeling a little off center. I feel like when this person comes back around, it's kind of going to throw, throw you through a loop. You're not going to be expecting this person to be coming back in. Okay. And I feel here, Aries, um, this is going to be challenging for you. For some reason, I feel like this conflict, it's taken its toll. You're not so willing to allow this person to come back in. Okay. I do feel like there is a need to kind of be open a little bit open, just at least hear the person out because at this time Aries, I feel like there may even be some blocked communication. Okay. The energy in love. There's some sort of conflict that's being resolved. And again, I don't feel like this has to do with a romantic partnership, even though for some of you it might. I feel like this is more of like a family member. Maybe this is like with the Empress in the reverse, a mother figure, okay, um, that you've had maybe been on the outs with for some time, okay? I do feel, Aries, if you're just even open to hearing what this person has to say, it's going to open the door for clarity. Okay, clearing out some confusion, clearing out some uncertain, some uncertain words that were minced between you and this person. What I feel happened between you and this family member Aries was a dispute, was some sort of conflict where there was a lot of things that were said and even though there may be some feelings of regret, not wish, you know, wishing that you hadn't said those things or that this person hadn't said those things. I feel like the apology may be geared towards that. Okay. And what I see Aries is if you are just open to hearing this person out, it's going to be a relief. Okay. It's going to bring back in a little bit of sense of balance within money is looking good money is looking up it's going to be a good month it's going to be a lucky month i also feel aries if there was some contractual agreement or some sort of um check that you were waiting for to come through that's going to pan out in the month of september the challenge here aries is having patience Okay, and that's definitely an Aries trait. Aries is definitely a sign of always on the go. And I do feel here, Aries, that for the month of August, things may have slowed down for you. That wasn't easy for you to handle. But I do feel like by things slowing down, by focusing on the slower side of life, it's given you time to build things, okay? Set the foundation in a new business, okay? Set the foundation on a new home. Maybe even set the foundation in a relationship. I feel it maybe a need to be more going with the flow because I feel Aries, you may be trying to control things a little bit too much and that could have adverse effects moving forward. Now, if you found this message was helpful or resonating with your situation, 
please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. What's coming in here, Aries, is happiness, is abundance. Four of Wands, Nine of Cups, the world. I feel like you're going to be pleasantly surprised by this apology, even though I do feel a little bit of rigidity at first, okay? Try to be open, okay, to allowing this person to come in and just hearing out what they have to say my recommendation for the month of September. So Aries, your advice, guidance, moving forward for September. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups in the reverse, the Eight of Wands. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. I am going to do an extended version to the reading Aries in the extended version. We're going to take a little deeper look into the hidden energies. We'll see what's coming next, where this is all headed, the resolution to the challenge and the outcome. If the advice is followed, it's all going down in the extended version and the links are all below Aries. We have the Two of Pentacles, Seven of Cups in the reverse, and the Eight of Wands. I definitely feel here, Aries, an energy of being open to a conversation. I do feel like there is an energy of clearing the confusion, clearing the air, okay? Needing to focus on the balance, finding that balance is going to be key. Being open to a conversation will be important for the month of September. If anybody from your past comes in that you've had a conflict conflict with and you're maybe closed off or no, we've, you know, enough is enough. Don't close that door quite yet because I feel here this is necessity. Okay, you need this closure to kind of shoot things forward. Whenever the world card is present, this is not only a completion of a cycle, it's almost as if leveling up, okay? So once the chapter is closed, once that door is closed, things are going to start looking more positive and feeling more lighter. It's almost as when an arrow is pulled back and it's shot forward. That's symbolic for challenges that have been holding you back as soon as you release them things start looking up very quickly, okay? I do feel like this energy is surrounding you at this time. There is a completion of a cycle. There is a closure that's coming in. Being open to that is going to help you to move forward more swiftly when it comes to several areas in your life. I also feel, Aries, that there has been kind of this need or this want to kind of clear the air with this person because it is family this is the perfect opportunity for that okay your soul journey message to sum up your reading is doubt i release the need to know all the answers it's impossible for the human brain to comprehend the mysteries of the universe you're only consciously aware of three dimensions for a reason that is to learn to love without the full awareness of your connection to spirit. Everyone has his or her own personal path to this awareness, and there is no right or wrong answer as long as your goal is to manifest the energy of love and compassion. The wisdom of the divine trickles into the physical dimension. Some of it will resonate with your soul and some will not. Those are your signposts that guide you to your correct path. If the wisdom resonates with you and seems right, then keep it. If not, release it back to the universe. Always be aware and mindful of the insights that your spirit guides and teachers put on your path. Aries, I feel there is an energy of a person returning for a specific reason. 
the reason why I feel this keeps coming up is because I feel an energy from you, Aries, of resistance, not being open. This person is coming back in your life for a specific reason, even just being open to hearing what this person has to say will help you to close up, out that chapter. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to accept this person back into your life. Just hearing them out, what they have to say, it's simple as that. So Aries, your four truths message coming out for your reading is don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable. Your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you easily because spirit moves freely through you. Let your life be transformed. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Aries, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all freaking amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.